Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing Zone. Our today's session will be about how we can use data provider along with the test engine. Okay, so data provider we basically use when we have to test any same functionality, any functionality for multiple sets of data. For example, you are testing login with multiple username and password. So that will be used for positive testing as well as negative testing. So one pair of data set will be your valid credentials and other set of data set uh, data will be your invalid credentials. So in that case, we can use data provider. Okay. So simple steps we will follow. We will create a separate class to test uh, data provider. Then we will declare our data set where we will have a valid and invalid data. And at the last, we will link our data set with our test class. Okay. This uh, three simple steps we are having and we will be doing this within these three steps now let's move to eclipse so uh, this was what we have done uh, so far we are having our test class where we have uh, we are validating three scenarios so one is positive scenario with login id and password and another one is negative scenario so here you see we have we have uh, hard coded the values of username and password right so in a similar manner we will just have to declare the test once and we will use data provider with multiple inputs now let's start so i'll create another class we'll name it as uh, data provider underscore we choose okay and uh, let's finish it so this is our class now i'm going to uh, like uh, use the same methods we already have here so we will launch the driver and uh, we will use the same web elements which we have okay so let's have one method public void testing testing underscore data provider this is our method now let's quickly copy this code so we won't have to write it again and again and then we also have this code where we have web elements of username password and login button okay we need to declare web driver web driver driver instance will import it okay now it's ready so if you see we are having this thing where we launch the driver and we are entering username and password let's quickly run this if there is any okay we need to mention it at the red test at the red test okay and we'll have to import test as well from test ng Let's quickly run this and see if it's working fine or not. So yes, our browser has launched. Our website is getting open. It will maximize the browser now. Enter username and password and click on login button. Yeah, so that happened quickly and our test has passed. Okay, if you want to see, you can see it over here that it passes. Now our uh, we have done with our first step that we have created a separate class now we'll declare a data set okay so to declare a data set we need an annotation we need to use one annotation which is known as data provider so at the rate data if you press control and space bar you should get a suggestion data provider okay and uh, we need to give some name to this let's uh, see the name is uh, data set data set data set okay now we have to mention our object here so it will be like public we need object for this because it will be a array of data okay data set one data set one okay now it's uh, for now it's showing red line 
but it will be gone so we need to return this object mm. okay so i think this o should be capital that's why it was showing okay now we have to mention our data set over here so this will be our first pair this will be our second pair and this will be our third pair after each pair we have to mention the comma okay now let us say our first username is admin and password is admin one two three this is our first pair of data our second data set is invalid username one comma invalid password one okay we'll just copy paste this one control c control v and this is our second pair so we have one valid and uh, two invalid data sets okay this is our data set now we have to what our third step is we have to link this data set with our test okay so in test we have to mention that which data set you are using so simply in bracket we will write data provider control space data provider what is the name of our data provider it is data set okay first thing so in data set we are having this pair pair of datas now the there is a one column admin invalid username one invalid username two and another column admin one two three invalid password one invalid password two these both are strings so we need to declare these strings okay so we will declare this in our method so let us say string one is user and string string pass string user and string pass so this code is familiar with you this is to launch our browser okay and now the first web element is username driver dot find element by name username so in username we we were uh, sending the input as admin so instead hard instead of hard coding this you can send here as user now okay because this user is having all these values of data set and this password is having all the values of this data set so instead of admin we will pass user and admin123 we will pass pass <coughs> for login button we will use the same thing okay now yeah i think it's ready let's execute it and see how it goes so run test ng we'll see so opening the browser launching the website yeah. this is first pair has been executed now it's testing for another one and testing for third one okay three data sets you can use uh, text screenshot method also to capture the screenshot of all these things see so this one was the third one where your credentials are invalid if you close this this one was for second so invalid username one and invalid password one so this one is also invalid and third one is this one where we used valid username and password and it is closed okay we can also use driver dot close and driver dot driver dot close and driver dot quit driver dot quit okay now what will we will do we will capture a screenshot of all this okay using our text screenshot 
okay so let's add our step our next step will be taking screenshot of each validation each validation okay because collecting proofs is the main part so we already have a code for that let's copy that code control c and we paste it over here okay uh, so we'll throw a declaration okay so this will only take one screenshot but we need screenshot for all three validations right so what we will do we will introduce one for loop here so let us say for int i equals to zero i is less than or equals to three because we are having three validations so it is gonna execute three times and then we have to mention test underscore plus i plus dot png so whatever value of i is there equals to zero whatever value of i uh, we have it will be captured screenshot for that okay now have we given the location do we have screenshot folder yes it's having screenshot folder I'll modify the name as data provider underscore test underscore one two three now let's execute this and see if it is uh, runs as per our expectation So our browser browser is launched website is getting launched I think we need to give thread dot sleep so it will capture the screenshot I'm not sure it will get that much time to capture the screenshot let's see now this is the second one which is invalid credentials so it runs so fast right that's why we need to provide uh, thread dot slip so it will get some time to capture the screenshot now let's see if we have screenshot or not okay okay so all our three test cases passed or all our three validations have been passed now let's go to screenshot we'll refresh the folder and let's see if we are having the yes we are having for screenshot let's check this out so see there is nothing test one nothing so that's why i was saying that we need to so we'll uh, change the condition to less than three okay and uh, here i'm going to introduce thread dot slip thread dot slip and we'll wait for 3000 milliseconds which is three seconds it will throw one declaration okay we are good with that now this time let's see okay re-executing the script is launching the browser now launching the website and enter the username password now so we'll wait for three seconds till capture the screenshot. So now this one is for the second invalid or negative test case. Now it will capture the screenshot. It will close the browser and it will run for third one. And I hope this time we'll get all our screenshots correctly. That was our main goal, right? okay so all three passes will refresh our folder let's see yes we are having a valid screenshot okay this one is for invalid second one should also be for invalid credentials and third one should be for 